How's it going everyone? This is Matt Lemire here. I hope all of you guys are having a fantastic day and welcome to the first vlog of 2023. I first do want to apologize for not getting this vlog out before the end of 2022, but that's okay. I think this is actually a perfect start for 2023. So after much delay and eager anticipation, here is the second part of my day trip to San Francisco. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The second part of my day in San Francisco picks up in Ghirardelli Square to visit another icon of the city, the famous municipal railway cable cars. In today's video, I will be taking a ride on one of these iconic pieces of San Francisco history up to the Cable Car Museum. Today's journey starts at the Frito Clusman Memorial turnaround and will follow the Powell High Line towards Union Square. Here we go. After the cable car departs Ghirardelli Square, it begins the ascent up the first hill on Hyde Street, making stops at every intersection to pick up or unload passengers. One of the stops includes the famous Lombard Street, where visitors can see the street's iconic meandering brick road on the eastern face of the hill, which is often packed with traffic. After traversing the summit, the cable car swiftly cruises down the other side at a speed of around 11 miles per hour, and it was right here where I got a little too close to an oncoming car. The line then turns east onto Washington Street, giving passengers a view of one of San Francisco's distinctive skyscrapers, the Transamerica Pyramid, before descending once again to the intersection of Washington and Mason Streets and arriving at the museum. Founded in 1974, the Cable Car Museum is dedicated to preserving the heritage and history of the cable car system in San Francisco as we've discussed. The museum is home to a collection of various cable car equipment, including three original cable cars from the 1870s, two from the Sutter Street Railway, and one from the original Clay Street Hill Railroad, the number 8 grip car. The most prominent features of the museum, however, are the huge engines providing 510 horsepower to each of the main cable lines in the system. Although there are three official cable routes, there are in fact four cables, one for the Powell line that works together with the two cables for the Hyde and Mason lines respectively, and the single California line cable. Visitors have a special opportunity to also walk downstairs for an up-close look under the street at the giant grooved wheels known as sheaves that provide propulsion to each of the cables. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video of having the opportunity to ride the famous San Francisco cable cars with me up through the hills of San Francisco and getting to check out the Cable Car Museum. That museum in particular was such an informative experience not only do you learn the history of the cable cars, as I discussed in my companion video, but you really get to see the machines that are at work constantly providing power to the cable cars as they run throughout the city. It's truly amazing and quite an eye-opening experience. So I highly encourage you to check it out for yourself if you are in San Francisco. I think that's gonna do it for today. As always, to get more content like this, remember to tune in same map time, same map channel. Thank you for watching guys, take care, and I hope you guys have a happy new year.